All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. My friends at Banggood, they were kind enough to send me a flight controller uh, to, to review. This is the NTX F7. It's a, as the name kind of suggests, it's a F7 flight controller. It's an all-in-one PDB flight controller and VTX built into one. Um, the VTX uses, I believe, the Tramp protocol for uh, video switching. It's a 25, 200, sorry, it's a 25, 100, 200, 400, 600 milliwatt VTX. Uses the common micro UFL connector. Uh, as I said, it's a F7 flight controller. The target for this is actually Maytech F722 if you're flashing in beta flight. This whole mess will run on anywhere from 2 to 6S. Um, nice big boot button on the side here. Power button for your VTX power. And your channel and band right here. Uh, normal USB port. Kind of what we expect. Um, this thing has everything. Uh, except for an extra pad on the corner for your ESC telemetry. But that's that's not a big deal. You're not really losing anything without it. Now the one weird thing that I noticed about this is that the gyro is on the underside of the board. So when you connect this to beta flight and you lay this thing on your bench like this in the direction that it's supposed to go, because you know, motor one, two, three, four, it is showing this. It's upside down and backwards. So there's a little fiddling in beta flight you have to do to get the board alignment correct, but it's not that hard and it's pretty well documented in the owner's manual for this flight controller. So if you wire this up and your quad flips out on you, A, make sure your props are on right, B, make sure your motors are turned in the right direction, and then C, check your board alignment because that's probably off. Another nice thing about this flight controller is it comes with pretty much everything you need. It gives you your 14 gauge power wire for it, a, uh, a capacitor, some gummies for the corners for some dampening. It even has your uh, UFL pigtail with the uh, SMA adapter. It doesn't come with an antenna, but that's fine. If they sent an antenna, it'd probably be a piece of crap anyways. So uh, a little more specs on the board. Uh, it does use the IACM 2689 uh, gyro, so this will do 32K, 32K. Um, it obviously has an onboard OSD just like everything else does anymore. Um, LED strip interface. Um, it has a, a shunt resistor for uh, current detection. Uh, it does have a solder pad for RSSI if you're still rocking the old analog RSSI. Uh, it's the, the standard uh, 30 by 30 board spacing. Uh, it does have a Beck. It's it's a whopping 3 amp 5 volt Beck, so that's more than enough power to uh, power up all your little heating devices, you know, your your run cam splits and your, your receivers and all that stuff. It, uh, it doesn't have a black box, which I thought was kind of weird, but I guess you're kind of... You'd be kind of pressed for space to have a black box in this thing. It does have a uh, whopping five UARTs broken out on this thing. Um, just remember that TX4 is already pre-wired to the VTX4, the VTX audio switching over the Tramp protocol. Other than that, there, I can't see... The, the only other thing I don't like about this board is there is no silk screening on the pad, so you have no idea what any of these do. Uh, there's some on the side for your buzzer, your video in and out, 5 volts, um, and ground, but as far as your UARTs go on the side here, uh, there's nothing there for you. So you are going to need to get the manual out and consult that to figure out what each one of these things do, but... Again, that's not a big deal. Uh, as we start packing more and more crap on the boards, you know, something's got to go. A little bit of silk screening, I guess that's fine. 
Now, one thing that did track me to this uh, over some of the other VTX flight control all-in-one offerings, kind of like the, the HGLRC F3 V4s and F4 V5s, or whatever they call it. Um, those ones, the, the VTX is like part of the main board. This guy, if you can see, is kind of kind of standing off with some pin headers kind of holding it in place. So I feel like if this VTX were to take a dump on you, you could easily get this thing off of here, get it out, and put it, or just bypass the whole thing altogether. But I mean, at least you would be carrying around the dead weight. You could get rid of it and uh, find a different solution. So um, that's that's about it for this flight controller. I'm really curious to see if uh, if it's a if it's a really noisy gyro. Some of these F7s, they are ultra sensitive to not only physical noise but also electrical noise. And if there's a lot of electrical noise, I mean, there's there's almost no way to fix that. And these things they just fly terrible. So I'm gonna get this in a quad and uh, take her for flight and see how she does. And introducing the test bench. This is my test quad. It's it's a every man's quad. It's got some old hooped out motor. They're not smooth. Uh, it's got a good camera on it because I gotta see where I'm going. Uh, Dell RC engine, 40 amp ESC, uh, R9MM, rocking the long range system. And uh, this will be, this from this point forward for review purposes, this will kind of be my test bed. This will be my mule. And uh, whatever parts that don't serve a purpose on other builds, they're going to go into this guy. And uh, yeah, this will be kind of the test bench. Oh, yeah. It, and it's it's a Martian 3 frame. I had it laying around. It's a special edition. Don't, don't crucify me for using this thing. Like I said, this is the every man's quad. It's an affordable what someone would be getting into if they're buying these components. So this will be the test bench. We'll get that guy on there somehow, throw some of that stuff in there, maybe some of this and some zip ties and some heat shrink, and we'll take it for a fly. So if you like what I'm doing here, please uh, go ahead and click that, that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're not already a subscriber, why not? It's another button. It's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt you. It's only gonna help me. So please like, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments or uh, problems, uh, you need some help diagnosing some stuff, guess what? I'll help you out. I mean, if I can, if I can figure it out, well, you can figure it out. And together, we can definitely get it started. Um, please comment in the box below. Uh, if you go to the About tab on my page, you can find my email address for this channel. Go ahead and shoot me an email. I'll see what I can do for you. I'll see if I can help you out. And if you like any of these products I have here, head down to the bottom of the, the video there and check out the links in the description. They may or may not be affiliate links. I do use them. They do help me out. They help my family out. They help keep content like this coming into the channel and bring it to you guys to help you out or just to entertain you if, if I even am entertaining. Uh, let me know what you think. All right, guys. Uh, we'll come back to this guy in the air and we'll let you know how it goes. All right. Thanks a lot. Catch you next time and keep flying. Bye.